Stay a while and listen. Hello, welcome to the Freak Show. Bumpy McSquiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I start up my coverage of Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. It is by Monolith Software and Nintendo, and it releases today, May 29th, 2020, on the Nintendo Switch. Now, many folks have told me that this is a very, very good RPG from days past, released on the Wii U, and I never had a Wii U, so I never really got a chance to play it. So I did grab Xenoblade Chronicles 2, but I started to play it, and I'm like, I don't really know what's going on. And it seems to really play off of the first game. That being said, I saw that this was coming out. And before I really hopped in and played too much of the second game, I wanted to play the first game. So I decided I would play it with you guys. See if you enjoyed it. So if you are big fans of this particular game and you know all about it, great. I'm going to be experiencing it blindly for the very first time right now. XC2 Player Bonus. As a special bonus for having played Xenoblade Chronicles 2, oh, okay, you can start the game with 100,000 gold. You cannot collect this bonus after starting. Um, I want the, the, the full experience, so I'm not going to do that. Like I said, I, I played it, but I played it for like maybe an hour, hour and a half. And I've had it for over a year, and I've been waiting for this to come out because I saw it was announced. I was like, well, maybe I can play some version of the original Xenoblade Chronicles, but nope, turns out this is this is how we're gonna do it. So, pretty Long excited ago, about this. The world was nothing more than an endless sea, cloaked in a boundless sky, reaching as far as could possibly be imagined. Okay. Then two great titans came into existence. And the Maconis. Did he just cut that dude's arm off? He did. This is... The Titans were locked in a timeless battle. Probably and bad. At last, only their lifeless corpses remained. Eons have passed. Now, our world. This vast land stretching across the remains of the Bionis is under attack from a relentless force known as the Mechon. Huh. I feel like the humanoids are having a, a, a little bit of a struggle here. See this whole time. They're advancing down our weak right flank. For a bunch of soulless machines, they seem to know a thing or two. But we'll see. Okay. Jumban. We've been given the order to retreat. We're pulling back the line to Colony Six. That's where we'll set up the last line of defense. Yeah, that's a good idea. Any more time spent hanging around here, and we're done for. Count me in. We gotta get out of here. Or we can stay and fight. What? Ah! 
so confused. We may die if we take a stand here, but staying gives us the chance to change our destinies. We have the Monado. With this, the future is ours for the taking. Stupid beast. Your body can't take any more of the Monado. I can tell by just looking at you. Getting short-sighted in your old age, Dixon. I'm fine. Don't worry, I'm still in control. Hmm. I should have known I couldn't talk sense into a beast. Let's do this. I'm going with you. You'll need someone to drag your corpse off. As long as you think you've still got the strength in you, old man. Boy, you two! We've been ordered to pull back! I'm leaving! Well, I say you're coming with us. What would we do without those? <sighs> the enemy's second wave is approaching! It's now or never, Dunban. Let's show them what we've got. So does the human weapon we'll work? Give them a warm homs welcome. Against the robots, or is it just his sword? Because they, they didn't seem to be doing good with their guns. I'm not throwing my life away. No point dying in some godforsaken field. Nothing for it. I'll have to use Dunban as a decoy. That should give me time to escape. <laughs> nice guy. I like this guy. Smart. He's got a good head about him. Oh. Battle introduction. Press left or right to target a monster. Monster player character. Oh, okay. That's it. Oh. Target an enemy to display the battle palette. Okay. It's a ballot battle palette. Select the fight icon and press A to start the battle. Uh okay. So what is that what does that do? Approach, target to auto-attack. Oh, that's a little disappointing. If you're too far from a monster, you can't attack it. I'm assuming I'm not too far. Do I have any other abilities? Select arts with various different things. Press A to confirm. You cannot use an art in the following circumstances. You're out of range or the conditions aren't met. Hmm. Monado enchant power up party members. And Monado buster deal major damage to an enemy. I shall chop you. Well, it's a different... It's a different method of doing stuff, I suppose. I don't know if I necessarily like or dislike it. It's... Like I said, it's different. I'm, up. I'm, I'm buffing everyone up. At least I think I was. That was the plan. I guess we did fine. Oh. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh, okay. Uh, if I should initiate the battle. As they seem quite, uh, pleased to do that themselves. We done been enchanted. I I'm pinned in a corner. I don't know how I feel about this. Double attack. Yeah. I mean, we're fine. We're not really taking any damage right now. Is that, is that it? Oh, oh, there's more. What's up, buddy? You wanna be my friend? Here, hold this. Deadly chainsaw? How about you done got got? So. Interesting, I suppose. Not much left. Are they, are they helping? It doesn't look like they're doing much. It's basically all us. There's a lot of these robot things. Looks like the Mekon are hell-bent on taking us out. They'll have to be if they want to beat us. Now, let's even the odds a bit. You heard him. Huh. Dixon, Munka, let's do this. I'd say he's even in the odds quite well. Oh, 
Really, you couldn't like kill it? Yeah. I ain't going down that easily. Oh, he's fine. Tombat, are you alright? Oh, what does it look like? I'm still good to go. <laughs> Guess even a hero's gotta reach his limit eventually. Monka, what are you doing? That way is. Sorry, brothers. Hate to drop this on you, but it's the Monado they're after. <laughs> so have fun keeping them occupied for me. I'm getting the hell out of here. Mumka, you judge. Now, don't worry. I'll organize your funerals. <laughs> nice guy. See you, boys. Wait. Bye. Huh? Oh. oh. If this is a joke, it ain't funny. Looks like this is it. At least we know our luck can't get any worse from here. Dumban? Dixon, take care of the survivors. Dumban, what are you playing at? I feel like he's gonna get dipped by something. Yes. I'll just come and get the Monado when everything's quiet down a bit. That thing's gonna be mine! What? 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 what was that? If you think the Hobbs, the people of Bionis, are just waiting here for you to pick us off, you are sorely mistaken. Well, that is weird, man. Meanwhile, apparently somewhere else entirely. Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. Sweet. So apparently the big giant titan dudes are husks that are now land masses that we're using. And one year later, after the weird battle of the robot people and the human people. A mech on M71. I bet I can use its optical system to align one of the anti-air batteries. Huh. Oh, no good. It's broken. The joint section. Who's he talking to? It's buckled. <laughs> it's completely useless. Oh. <sighs> Just fell on his own sword, kind of. That seems risky and possibly painful. Dragonfly is real friendly. Creepy, too. Also, does it not have legs? Huh? An M69! Uh-huh. Its armor would be perfect for making a shield. If I can just get it off, I should be able to... Well, that's probably bad. Right. It's not a mech on. It's just a crabble. A crabble? It was using the mech on armor as a shell. All right. I'll lure it away and topple it. When it's down, use your arts to finish it off. Uh oh. Okay. Yeah, I'm here for it. Uh, when the HP is depleted, the character will be incapacitated. Uh, select an art with blah 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 and confirm. Use backslash to deal damage. Schultz art backslash okay restore hp with light heal it's fine select who will be healed use up and down okay got it i'm all over it all right you cannot use the same art repeatedly cooldown begins after a set amount of time yeah okay that's, that's fine Getting there eventually, using talent arts. Each character has a special art called a talent art. So it's a talent art icon and press the A button to use it. 
The talent gauge must be full. Okay. Defeated enemies will drop treasure chests. Press A to open it and take the loot. I feel like the sound mix is a little bit off, too, so if it's a little bit quiet, I will play around with it now that we're into the game itself. And I should be able to kind of mix it a little bit better moving forward. Generally, I find console games as a whole tend to be pretty decent about having the right mix of music to sound effects to voice over, whether in movies or in the actual gameplay. So... This one feels like it's a little bit light on the voice acting and whatnot, and the music's a little loud, and the sound effects are probably a little bit quiet too, so like I said I'll play around with it before the next episode and all that should be fine. The green ring stops you from escaping, defeat the monster to make the green ring disappear. Alright, so what, what are we supposed to do now? Oh, I gotta target it, yeah, okay, cool. Ah, be aware of aggro during battle. Direction of monster, okay, aggro ring. Aggro is the measure of a monster's feelings of animosity. I, I love that they, they use aggro, it's great. Toward uh, each party member, the more damage that a monster takes from a party member, the greater the aggro towards that member. If a member of the party becomes the target of a monster's wrath, an aggro ring will appear around them. Uh, Shulk's backslash deals more damage if he attacks from behind the monster. This is called an Arts Bonus Effect. Uh, when you're in a position to gain an Arts Bonus Effect, it will be helpfully highlighted for you as a chance art. Okay. When an aggro ring appears around ring, Shulk has a chance to use Backslash from the rear. If it's successful and the bonus effect condition is met, the damage value will be displayed in a BOOM thing, I guess. Sweet. Alright, so we got our chance. We got our backslash. Okay, that worked out pretty good. Alright. I, I guess we took him down. I was gonna try to throw a heal, but we got it. That was a close one. Roin. Man, what were you doing wandering off by yourself? Stay where I can keep an eye on you. It's pretty dangerous outside of the colony. There are all kinds of monsters. I'm seeing that, buddy. But thanks to you, we got it shell. Everyone in the colony is going to be really happy. I'm more worried really? about you than the shell. No, oh, whatever. Knowing what you're like, at least you'll make a decent weapon out of it. Well, you know, this shield. This driver's excellent. I just learned by watching Dixon make weapons. Of course, oh. Dunban's weapon still beats them all. The Monado. I hope I can figure out the secret of his power one day. You will, Shulk. Anyway, we better get back to the colony. If I'm late for drills again, old Square Tash is gonna kill me. Square Tash? Square Tash? Oh, the Defense Force Colonel. He's pretty scary. Tell me about it. Sorry, I didn't mean for you to come all the way out here during your break. Don't worry about it. Let's get back. That's an interesting shirt you're wearing there, buddy. It looks like it may be a little bit too small for you. Follow the dotted path to advance the story. The path to the next main story objective is displayed on the minimap guidance panel. Uh -huh. You can switch the minimap by pressing left analog stick in. Checking the story memo, press the ZR button to display the guidance panel in the bottom right corner of the screen, allowing you to check off, or sorry, to check the story memo. Press ZR while the guidance panel is open to close the story memo. Move the camera with R. Yeah, I know. Press to different. Okay. For further information, see Tarda. Okay. All right. Well, there's more. Press the plus or start button or whatever you want to call it to open the system menu where you can save your progress. You cannot save during battles and story events. However, you can save in most other situations. This, this game also includes an auto save feature. Save data recorded using this function will be marked with an auto save icon. All right. Uh, the game will save automatically at certain points, but make sure that your most recent progress is not lost. Regular saving manually is recommended. And while the game is automatically saving, the auto-saving icon will be shown in the bottom left corner of the screen. Got it. And there's more. You can review the tutorials at any time. For the tutorials are added as you play the game. View these to see more information about the topics that have already been introduced. 
There's an event theater, the event theater, the event theater is now available from the game's title menu. This lets you rewatch any events that you have seen before. By changing the settings below, you can adjust the scene's weather, time of day, with some exceptions, or the party character's cosmetic equipment, only if already acquired. Interesting. Alright, so the story memo. Shulk and Rain must, uh, or have managed to fight off their assailant. Rain now has to get back for his shift with the defense force. So Shulk and Rain decide to return to Colony 9. The active quest feature hasn't been unlocked yet. Later in the game, you will gain the ability to show information relating to the quest progress in this panel. Alright. So we can slide the camera? That's interesting. We can, oh god, we can zoom the camera. Alright, that's interesting. And then we can reset the camera. Okay, so let's hit the wrong button because Nintendo and Catter Pile Syrup and a Broken Antenna. Alright, sweet. So, yeah, the adventure has begun, ladies and gentlemen. I think I'm going to maybe make this first episode a little bit of a shorter one. Uh, just so I can make sure that we get into a point where we can save before getting into like a lot of other stuff. So let's uh, maybe battle these three things and then call a close to it. Uh, there we go. I say that we battle you, sir. Alright, and done. Oh, I do the oh, okay, it's like that. I'm like, how does this work? Alright, so I was trying to get the healing to work, and, and I figured it out, but it'll take some stiff hair, I guess. It's a little bit weird, not gonna lie. Full disclosure. Alright. Oh, oh, we, we heal between combat. Okay, that's cool. I didn't know that. Get him. There it is. I'm going to keep hitting the wrong button, it looks like. And then we have one more individual. So combat's a bit different than what I was expecting it to be, but it's not bad. It's, like I said, it's just a bit different. I got it with the backslash. Like a boss. Alright, let's get rid of him. Oh, he's dead. Never mind. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I think that is probably going to do it for this first episode. Like I said, we're just getting started. We're kind of learning the ropes. We're experiencing this game for the very first time. Uh, it's been out for several years by this point on the Wii U, and I just never really had a chance to play it. It was recommended to me by several different people, saying that it was a really, 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 really good game. Uh, a lot of folks have just said like the Xeno, I guess Xeno Gears and this game uh, series is really good and I remember I myself played and they might not be related at all, maybe they are, I don't know, maybe somebody can tell me in the comment section down below, but I did play and I believe it was on a Playstation 2, the Xeno, sorry not Xeno Blades, uh, the Xeno Saga games, there was three of them, Xeno Saga 1, 2, and 3, I played through all three of them, they were very weird? but pretty cool and I really did enjoy them. The second one, my least favorite of them, but it was still enjoyable. The third one kind of knocked it out of the park, so to speak. So yeah, I always wanted to try Xeno Gears. I never got a chance to try that. And then now Xeno Blade Chronicles is out. So we'll, we'll see how it goes. And if this goes well, people are enjoying it. I'm enjoying it. We'll definitely move on to Xeno Blade Chronicles 2 once this one is all said and done. Anyway, guys and gals, if you want more information about the game, where to get the game, information on the developer, publisher, any of that wonderful fun stuff, I'll have all the relevant links down below in the description of the video, just like I always do. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, stick around, find something you like, enjoy, and until the very next episode, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by The Freak Show, and I will see you later.